Hey guys, uh, how's everyone going? First of all, Happy New Year. But uh, second of all, I'm here on my uh, crit early static strike character that has now actually been turned into a cyclone character. So I'm now level 89 and uh, I'm cyclone. The reason I went to cyclone, it's kind of just better offensively and defensively at the same time. It doesn't clear as fast on the really large packs, but in general, it's just a better ability to use, I feel, after testing it out. So, um, basically, you can be Static Strike, you can be Cyclone. I'll leave that up to people when I write up the whole guide and all that. But Cyclone is what I'm choosing to do. And for the past level, I actually just put on an Abyssus. Up until that, uh, now, I've been using an Alpha's How, and that is perfectly fine. Um, with an Abyssus, I have 45,000 damage on my uh, Cyclone with a 5 link. With my power charges up, with an Alpha's How, I have 30,000. So, it's more of a soft core choice, basically. You'll be using an Ab you can use an Abyssus, and uh, you kill things quicker, and for that, you might die less. But when you do get hit, you get hit pretty hard. Usually, that doesn't translate to death, though, anyway. But if you want to stay safe, use an Alpha's How, and you'll still be just as good in this build. You just kill slightly slower. I personally think I might be sticking with an Abyssus. So I'm going to do an Itsiri run. I've done a whole bunch of these, and uh, usually I die maybe once or twice. And that is usually just to the trio. And the reason I die to the trio is because I don't have a uh, self-cast Immortal Call set up yet. If I did, I believe um, it would be a lot easier to not die to the trio. But right, I just can't be bothered. Right now, I am uh, occasionally dying to the trio and, you know, not really caring too much. But what I'm doing here is going to show on Zero Run with this build and uh, show off how strong it is at the moment. Because I believe it's uh, pretty good for how much it costs. Like, the bulk of the gear is nothing. An Abyssus, a uh, Belly of the Beast, only a 5 link, a dagger that just needs crit and attack speed, doesn't need physical damage at all, so they, they can be fairly cheap. And then just some jewellery, basically. Nothing too expensive. And the build itself is really strong. You can scale your damage quite high. On the top end of gear, we can hit much higher DPS, and I probably going to try and take this build into Uber at Ziri, because I feel like there is potential to do that. Right now I only have Vile Cyclone attached still, that's what I was using for Static Strike earlier, but I will be using Vile Grace and Vile Haste as well, in probably instead of Vile Cyclone. Um, primarily just for bosses and it should be a lot easier. Bosses should be a lot easier because of that. Anyway, so the new Cyclone, you can't really name lock, you kind of have to spin around in a circle around things, or up and down. Around bosses, I mean. And, you know, it's not a big deal. It works out pretty well still. But what it does do is, um, desync is a lot less noticeable. In my opinion, I do think that they uh, have battled Desync on Cycling pretty well with the most recent change. And Cycling itself feels pretty good. Um, the attack speed is slightly slower, as they said they did change. But that doesn't affect my build too much, because uh, I have lots of attack speed and hit fast anyway. I do still notice that I'm, you know, I would be attacking slower than, say, previous Cyclone, but I don't think that matters too much in the long run. So what I'm saying is, I like Cyclone, still. I think it's uh, just as good as it used to be. But, in some cases, better. And Malagaris, that's awesome. In some cases better, because uh, I don't get desynced anywhere near as often as I used to, and it was one of my pet peeves of playing Cyclone before. I'd still play it, I'd still like it, but I'd get desynced often, and it would be annoying. 
Now my kill order for these guys at the moment without an Immortal Call setup is going for the Cycloner first, then the Dual Striker, and then the uh, ranged chick. Without the Immortal Call setup, it's like I said, chances are I will be dying, especially to the ranged chick at the very end. Nothing I can do about it just yet. If I have a dedicated Mortal Call setup, if I have Val Haste and Val Grace, I think um, the fight should go very smooth every single time, basically. Sometimes that'll just happen. Um, usually I don't die two times in a row like that. Just because um, Mortal Call will proc and then I'll leech back up and um, yeah, it'll all be okay, but that did not seem to be the case that time. So yeah, like, I mean, as I said, I do die occasionally to them because no Immortal Call set up. Please don't take my deaths as a, this is, you know, super hard, can't be done. If you have Immortal Call set up um, to self-cast it yourself, it will be a lot easier. And they are the biggest challenge of um, this build for uh, the Itziri zone. And yet that still looked pretty damn easy, didn't it, guys? Um, so the other thing is, yeah, we do have Hull Cycling, but it's pretty damn dangerous to use on the Itziri map. I will go ahead and press it once, just so you guys can have a look at how kind of awesome it is. Hmm, not here. It's only really good on large, large packs. And I still have a chance of surviving, but it's pretty dangerous to use on its area, as I said. So yeah, here's good. You just stand there, pulls everything in, and uh, yeah. You kill it very efficiently. So Valcyclone is great for, um, like, map clear and clear speed, but it's not going to be as good as Val Haste and Val Grace for bosses. Aziri herself, not very hard at all, especially once you have a lot of DPS, which Abyssus provides. Uh, without the name locking, it's a bit harder to actually, you know, Cyclone kill the adds. Kind of have to just do a bit of spinning around and hunting. But it's still, yeah, pretty manageable. So you can, um, there are two ways to fight at Ziri with this build. You can choose to go the slightly more learn to play route and avoid things, or you can just pop a Topaz or a, uh, Ruby and just tank stuff. See, like, right there, I could have tanked that with a Ruby up, but I'm practicing to avoid everything for, um, actual Uber Ziri itself. And ideally that would be a, uh, Surgeon's Flask, but I don't have that on my Topaz, so Topaz ran out, sadly. As you can see, it's pretty pretty uh, comfortable though, as long as you know what you're doing. It's really not too hard to do at Siri. There are still plenty of gear upgrades to go. Right now, like I said, I have 44,000 cycling DPS um, with an ideal setup, 6 link. I think we'll be hitting a good 100,000 on cycling. 40,000? There it is, 44,000. And that's a pretty beefy cyclone, so I'm excited to get upgrades happening. Probably don't want to go in there, that will most likely kill me. And then I had to tank that one with a ruby flask. So I did do a bit of messing up there, and for that I am nearly dead. But should be able to still walk away with some sort of life. Yep. 
And for our troubles, we got some slink boots and a mortal grief. Not the worst drops in the world. So I kind of just wanted to show off um, the Cyclone version of the build because uh, the previous video I showed was Static Strike and I was enjoying Static Strike and I was going with it but it felt like it was missing just a bit of something. And what that something was, was no more mana management in terms of Cyclone attached to Blood Magic as well as just the defensive capabilities of Cyclone with the you know, stun immunity and the constant just moving around so you're actually dodging things as you go. So I ended up swapping to Cyclone and um, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm looking back at this point. And I'm probably sticking to an Abyssus as well. I'll show you my passive tree, uh, I'll link it as well, but to sh just give you a quick idea. If you're running an Abyssus, you're going to have to go up here and grab these. Without the Abyssus, you don't need this and you just run an Alpha's Howl which frees up some of those points to do things like accuracy crit, maybe a bit more life, more life, maybe some other crit here. Uh, there's a bit of flexibility to the build at the moment, especially because with this build, it's just kind of a uh, skeleton. Like the auras, the gear, the passive tree, it's kind of a skeleton for you to be able to just put whatever you want in there. You want to go Static Strike? Static Strike. You want to go Cyclone? Then go Cyclone. If you want to still be Buzzsaw, you can put in Spectral Throw, change passive tree a bit, you can still be Crit Buzzsaw. So, I will try and update the Crit Buzzsaw guide to have like, probably three sections. Uh, as soon as I get off my lazy ass and do it. But anyway, this was in Zero Run with my Crit Cyclone Elemental build with an Abyssus. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will uh, make more videos and I will see you and I'll update the guide. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Fridge into the stream. I stream every day and I have lots of gameplay like this, which is on uh, yeah, Twitch TV slash Mathel1. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.